Okay, now part two, we're going to go ahead and add the player and finish this composite. One thing that I wanted to show you that I think is makes this template kind of cool is that with these layers, you find that you want your logo or wording more centered needs to move. Let's see if we can get it to auto select it. You can just scoot it to be right on top and you can also come over and move your light beams. So I'm pressing uh, my shift key to get both of them and I'm pressing this to the right so it's centered. You can just stretch this out so that it looks better or you can um, come into your mask and change the mask. You can take, this gets a little bit more complicated but I'm gonna show you anyway. I'm gonna sample this color of gray you're following all this and change this back to overlay and I can make my my cap lock when your cap locks is on it makes your brush look like that I make this a little softer brush and I'm just pressing shift so I make a mark here and then I press shift and then I come to this one and do the same thing and just you can tweak that you know as long as you want but that's kind of cool that you can move that lighting effect another thing I wanted to show you about this text is that you don't have to use an action you can rasterize it make a copy just in case and rasterize and then you can just drag it and and do this yourself however you want however you want it to look and you can use the sample as your guide the action puts this into a soft light mode so then you can just come in and do that manually or you can try a bunch of blending modes you can just press your down arrow and go through a bunch of these and just find one that you like all right, let's get back to this. I'm gonna open my player, which I have already extracted, and I'll have links below on how to do that, my videos. And I'm just gonna drag this in. And I didn't put it in the right area, so I'm going to put it up here. Over here, so she's not cut off there turn on your player back glow or you can create your own which is what I like to do a lot of times and I'll do that real quick why not right outer glow come on white and way down here here's my layer alt key and the eyeball you can see my layer and I'm gonna go filter blur Gaussian blur and make it big and then if I wanted to I could turn back the turn off the other one or I could leave the other one on and then I could reduce this and I actually might like this more so I'm just gonna make it it'll automatically do the last thing again if you just hit it again so or you could go into it and change it so we have that so what about changing um, the color of the background you can do that click here and change it to whatever you want okay let's look what else we got here that we can play with we can turn on one of these warming filters this cool this cool filter the warm filter and or we can arrow through our filters and I'm gonna press my down arrow and look at all the different filters and if one you know it kind of makes the picture a little bit more seamless when you do that it just makes it blend better so you can turn on the fog and we could turn it off just over her or opposite oh, and we could even there's lots of fog here you could even add a mask to the fog and you know mask off a part of it so that it didn't cover her and I'm gonna make my brush really big 
And then if I press down my Alt key, I can actually just copy my mask to as many layers as I want. If I drag it, what else, what other layers do we have here we can play with? Um, I think that covers it. Can turn off the light beams. Yep, that covers it. So if you have any questions about this, please let me know and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. So I hope you enjoy this product. Oh,